Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything. I realize that. Uh, sorry about that. Um, anyway, tonight I'm going to tr try to play a bit of Pacific Drive. Now, Pacific Drive is a roguelike survival game where you're not upgrading your base, you're upgrading your car. You are in an anomalous version of the Pacific Northwest in the late 1990s where it's just you and a station wagon which may or may not be a supernatural entity in an area that has been covered with anomalies due to a strange scientific experiment um it's kind of weird uh i give it the description of stalker by way of simon stalenhag because it reminds me a lot of tales of the loop as well but there's stuff going on here. I'm trying it again. I tried this the other day and my um, audio setup was honestly messed up. But we're doing this. I have played a bit, but um, we're gonna try it new. Let's go. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Well, I'm glad this happened in the 1990s. If you knew it happened today, the internet would be all conspiracy teams would be all over this, but let's not talk about anything. Uh, okay. There's a ferry. Is it arriving or leaving? I think it just left me. Okay, so I take this windy road, then I drive along the border there. And I don't like this section of the game because this radio is actually very loud relative to all the other sounds. I've got the... Um, I have set my volume so that I've actually turned the music down to half and it doesn't seem to do anything what I do in the settings. You can tell this road has not been used for a while, or at least, um, I guess we're in Washington State. Uh, looks like nobody's um, doing much maintenance on this road, guys. Hop to it. So yes, this is the tutorial the part. Close to the snow. And I assume that is the infamous barrier wall we're talking Rivers about. For spines, that is a big wall. Okay, 
Okay, it's getting foggy in my, and I'm running on the road, and what am I doing? Damn. There's fallen trees. weird. What the? Okay. Yeah, there's weird. Rocks just dissolving around me. That's... idea of why I'm not immediately turning around and hitting back beyond the fact that I'm a video game protagonist and therefore I let up with weird shit every Tuesday, so. Big pipe up there. Whoops. Okay. waterfall. I'm going to assume the fact that wall is on my left when it used to be on my right is a bad sign. I will also assume the glowy green stuff all around me is a bad sign. And the fact that my tire is just floating in the air in the way tires normally don't float is probably a bad sign. Does it want me to run? Oh, there's my door. My engine. Yeah, this this looks to be bad. And that's why that music was so loud. Look at the size of that speaker. Man, this guy has a subwoofer from hell. Okay. In general, I avoid the gl glowy green stuff and go towards the light. That seems to be a good thing. Okay, crouch is not a toggle, so I have to hold it. that radio is actually directional. If I turn, it the sound comes from different directions. Okay, this, this is where we had a little bug last time. Let's see if it happens this time. Put the wheel on. Okay. I cannot pick up the wheel. Oh, I have to hold! Ah, okay. Maybe I was okay last time. I wasn't responding. Okay. Yes, it's back. It's 
back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. What distress signal? Is this car just giving one on its own? I don't remember having a radio. What was I listening hey, to? Hey, we there? got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they, I mean, they're from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. Whoops. Why am I rolling? Okay. That's the parking brake, okay. The game does, this is still basically the tutorial level, the game is kind of just prompting me along. This is also not a toggle, you have to hold it. Pipeline again. There it is. Uh, forty percent, I guess, is it? Okay. Okay, that's time to go. Time to go. Okay. Avoid the glowing green stuff. Whoa, 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 wait, hold the phone. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Oh, kid, what could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Well. Uh, you, know, you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a. No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. It's over there. Yes, there's a radio. I'm not turning it on because I don't want the, to be blasted out again. Uh, poor Chloe stuff. Whoa, that was... When you find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. Alfie ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive.
and of course it's raining. I'm in the Pacific Northwest, what do I expect? Wind's getting up too. Unfortunately, someone left the door open. channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I personally written that's 10 years and 17 volumes and ah, give it that voice just like a nail gun to the skull so <laughs> another breacher huh how do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Ah, oh, God, unfortunately. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Man, how did I lose a tire way over here? You picked a fine time to leave me loose, wheel. No. That's enough of that. and spare tires, okay. For utilities, I have the arc dock, whatever that is. Handbrakes, cardboard boxes, yes. 
essential automotive item, the cardboard box. Then we also have the mechanic's eye, which is what I'm wearing. Okay. Why is it showing me that I'm not... Why am I, can I not be the little yellow fellow with car maintenance? Fuel can. Yeah, I know about it. Okay. Go back over here. Auto shop. There we go. And here, first aid station, parking sensor. Okay. So I need to pick up some stuff to make this. this what do you need to the outside? Okay. Okay. Pry bar. You could have told me about that first, you know. Okay. Okay, we'll take the toolbox. I do like the fact that the backpack layout kind of matches the backpack you're carrying. And, um, that's duct tape. Okay, so we got that. Let's equip that. Slot one. Okay. at me. One lit. And this thing. The scrapper. Okay. says I've got what I need and I'm going to finish taking this thing apart while I'm here. Why wait? Sound does good on switching from inside to outside. Okay, I need to create a root door. this 
this, don't I? Fixes anything. I mean, Bondo wouldn't fix a tire. Oh, well. Rear bumper is completely missing. Well, that was basically a zero and it's repairing it, so I guess that's a good thing. I noticed that my friends on the radio have stopped talking to me. It's trying to do a ceiling kit, so we'll have the spare left forever later. Why do I use glass shards in a ceiling kit? Seems kind of contraindicated, doesn't it? back. Mechanics kit. Do I have one of those? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, I hit it a few times. That, that, that should have fixed it, right? a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Okay. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Okay, gear blueprints. So I know how to build gears. And I now knew how to build crafting hammers. Although I guess actually the headset I'm using 
knows how to do it. Okay. against the wall. Not that projector, apparently. Oh, this projector. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage, follow the access road. That it? this spare tire if I can. Just have a spare tire with me. Uh, yeah, you gotta play inventory Tetris. What's that? A steel sheet. Okay. And I can use this just to store everything I need. Um... Okay, do I have everything from around here I need? Oh, what's the logbook want to tell me? Arc device, chemicals, glass shards, plastic. It's just telling me what my those are. What's, what's over here? Backup tools, backup supplies. Okay. did that. Road flares. Okay. Tools. Impact hammer. dumpster wouldn't be your pound all the zone if it wasn't handing out things that it thinks you really really need okay so I guess this is a um, one of those anomalies they were talking about I just have a dumpster that gives me things whatever fuel pump pretty dumpster again okay I think I got all that stuff done okay 
I don't need to scrap that right now. Let's go. And it made me, it just gave me a tutorial on that. I'm not going to look it up. Okay. Is that a ping pong ball? It does have a map. I guess I'm here and I need to do that way. And that's the barrier road. I guess that's where, I, yeah, that's where I came in. Okay. That's kind of how this looks. Okay, I get it. An anemometer? The wind speed thing? <sighs> And that used to be a turntable to... Oh, let's just get out of here. Okay. I'm going to stop right here for right now. I'll come back in a little bit because I need to... Well, I've already wrecked my car. We're doing so well. I'm going to stop right here in a little bit because we're about to do a scene transition and those things will lead us to new and more exciting things to do places so um i'm going to break just to keep things at manageable sizes and we'll be back in a minute